there are a handful of projects that potentially could not hold up well. So I wanted to show you as of now how well those different projects are holding up so that if you were thinking about doing what I did, you'd see what your possible future could look like as well. I need to blow my nose. Better. Okay. Um, there are a few different projects that I'm going to be talking about. And if there's a certain one you're looking for, you can look in the description of this video. And I will have them linked so you can click on them and it'll take you to that section of the video that talks about said project. The first one I'm going to start with is this fridge because it's probably why most of you are watching this video. That was the second project I did on this channel and I did it about half a year ago and I really didn't expect people to care for it but it's what's taking my channel to where it is. So thank you for watching that video and if you came over to see how it's holding up because it's something you are possibly looking into, then let me tell you. My update is good. What I did worked so well and it's holding up better than I thought it would. Like, one, the handles work very well and drilling into the fridge for the new stuff didn't cause any problems. I didn't think it would, but some of you have reached out and just wanted to let you know that fridge still works properly. Um, the paint, I did the a good primer and then my paint on top of that. And I can use my nails and just scratch away. I was nervous the first time I tried this because I was like, it's something I need to tell you if I can do or not. And it's fine. Like, it is tough which I did not expect. I do have a few magnets over here, and they're not incredibly strong, but strong enough. And they're fine too. I feel 100% confident telling you to do exactly what I did. If you have a fridge like mine, that was the white textured old fridge you see everywhere. If you have a different type of fridge, I can't tell you 100% certain to do what I did because I'm not sure how it will work for you. But if it's this type of fridge, go for it because I am very happy with how this turned out. I'm sure with a different type of primer and a different type of paint, things could end differently, but with the specific things I got in the specific versions, I got them. It's good. <laughs> The second project I'm going to update you on and show you are my kitchen chairs. And I painted these with leftover paint I had. As you see, that is the same color as my fridge. And um, they're holding up really well. It's not the best update for you because I don't really use these chairs that much. After work, I do put like my laptop bag and my purse and just random books on top of them. And they've gotten that type of action <laughs> and um, they've held up fine. It's not chipping or anything. All the furniture I've had so far I've painted with latex paint and it's been fine. I am curious to use chalk paint someday because that's what the majority of people I see use on furniture and you have to put a finish over that which isn't as necessary with latex paint because it's kind of built in a little bit. You can, you can put some just for extra strength, but with chalk paint, you definitely need a finish. I would like to see the difference in the ease of putting it on and just how good it looks, how well it holds up. So maybe someday I'll do, I'll do that and then I'll be able to compare them. But for what I did using latex paint on, this chair and the other five, it took forever. 
Um, it's good. Also, the little feet protector things I got for the bottom of them are working very well and still holding up. Yeah, I don't have much to say about these. I painted them with latex paint and they're holding up, even though they don't get a ton of use. If you sat on these every day, I'm not worried that they would not be good. I just have to specify that I don't use them much because I don't. Okay, on the next one. Number three are my floors. These weren't as long ago, so I will be making another one of these videos in the future to keep telling you how it is. And I'll always go back to the original video and link the most current update. You can also see my trouser wall, which was my very first project. But I'm not going to update on that because it's paint on a wall and the paint is still there. I was just doing this as a temporary patch to cover up the floors I hated until I got around to retiling it myself. Um, but I don't feel the need to retile it in the near future because I like this. For this floor, my first comment has nothing to do about the actual painting process. But I had people tell me when I was like, I'm going to paint it white. And they're like, that shows dirt and hair. And I'm like, okay, whew, they weren't kidding. And um, it really kind of shows me how much hair I'm losing. So yeah, it's been holding up well. It looks better than I thought it would. And I would totally say you should do it. I have had a few times where I guess I didn't close the shower curtain well enough or something was off and some of the water got out onto the floor and also onto the rug so there's just a wet rug sitting on the floor and the floor was completely fine. There are some spots I'm seeing that I missed with the finish because when you're putting a clear coat top on it's really hard to see where you're actually painting it and now when the light hits a certain way and you're in a certain angle you can see spots that aren't shiny. I know I missed some spots but because I did that and didn't end up going back to fix it yet I can tell you how those spots are doing as well. So when, when, lose when, I don't know. Those spots are doing fine for now. I, I do think that if I don't get around to fixing those spots and putting the finish on top of it, that those will be the sections that get dirtier and you won't be able to clean the dirt as well as the rest. And so I will fix those spots. But for now, nothing's happened. They look fine. I should say that I'm the only one that uses this bathroom and I'm not like trouncing around like dragging stuff on the floor. I normally don't even have shoes on. If you have a ton of people that use the bathroom and are very harsh with the floor and tap dance in their shoes, who knows how it will hold up. But as for me and my floor, we're doing good. <laughs> and I will eventually get around to fixing those spots. There's not a lot of room to film in this bathroom. But my fourth project is my painted shower curtain. And this one probably seems the most like a project that was DIY'd, <laughs> which isn't bad. For one, I did not do the best job putting the tape on. And so I did get the places that leaked under and my non-perfectionist self was fine with that. Um, so you can even see all of it, but here it is. Woo! Um, the nice thing about this was that it was just a normal shower curtain that I painted with latex paint. And it was the same latex paint that I painted 
my bathroom with and the terrazzo wall. So I was able to get the exact colors that were everywhere in my bathroom and put them on my shower curtain. Because normally when you're buying shower curtains, you're like, oh, does this match? Does this match? Is it going to be the right type of green? Is it going to? It's perfect. With this, it does go through. And so the other side, it looks so nice, but it's fine. Nobody has to know. I have a clear liner behind this, but there have been times when the water gets around the liner and my shower curtains gotten pretty wet. And it's fine. It hasn't done anything to the paint and you would never know it happened. So it's holding up well. I'm happy with it and if you want to try it out you totally should because it's cheap and it matches my bathroom perfectly. And it works as a shower curtain. So what else do you need? Feel free to ask any questions you might have about the projects I've shown you or projects I haven't shown you. Um, if I missed describing a certain aspect or just missed something you were wondering, let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you and let you know as well as I can the answer to your question. I have a lot of good projects next year that scare me a little bit some of them so make sure you subscribe and then you'll get to see them because they will happen yes i hope you have a good holiday season and end of the year and just relax and yay do life i will see you next year in my next video. Bye. There have been a few times when I don't know if I didn't close the shower curtain as well as I should have or I don't know but the battery sign is blinking at me. Oh no. I have had a few. Should I fix that before I go? I'm gonna risk it. I have had a few. <laughs>